Hi everyone, so this week's demonstration I just have some little styrofoam balls so they're really tiny little white balls in a packet and I'm also going to need a balloon animal so I'm just going to quickly make some kind of lion, cat, dog, balloon thing um, so it's quite a few twists but yeah, so all I'm using this week is the styrofoam balls and a balloon and I'm going to use them to show how you can generate a charge distribution and make things both attract to each other and also repel so I think I've just about finished now my model yep there we go so I've popped the styrofoam balls into a plastic beaker and it's sealed at both ends and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the balloon up and run it along not touching the surface of the plastic beaker but just nearby now can you see those balls are all jumping around? Some of them are getting attracted up towards the surface and some of them appear to ping off each other. Initially my styrofoam ball is made up of positive and negative charges but these are evenly distributed so my overall charge is zero. Now when I rubbed the balloon animal on my head I actually made the balloon animal negatively charged and this changes the charge distribution on my little styrofoam balls. The positives get pulled to the top in this case, and the negative go to the bottom. And it's this change that means the styrofoam ball becomes attracted up towards my negative balloon. So you can see here, the little styrofoam balls are jumping up towards where the balloon animal is. However, because I've changed their charge distribution, it also means that some styrofoam balls act to repel each other, which is why you get the ones pinging all over the place. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this very short video looking at electrostatic charge. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!